You are welcome. How are you? Fine. That's really good. Like you are busy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'll be busy. I'm just supervising this very house. I want to make sure that this very building is well built. So I'm supervising them all. Very nice. Okay. I'll do this. Ah. Me again. Ah. It's wonderful. It's good of you. Thank you very much. It's not too much for me. Uh -huh. You brought bread for me. You brought bread in the morning, even rice in the afternoon. I sometimes you even give me money. I'm the one that's supposed to be giving you. Sometimes, at least, we need to do this because of you. Future? That's good. Thank you very much. What if you are meant to be one? Meant to be one? Like, seriously? Wow. Um, is, was it the reason why you are always bringing things for me, give, sometimes you even give me money. I'm the one that's supposed to give you money. Huh? But I'm married. I'm married. Yes. Four kids. I have four kids. Two boys and two girls. You mean you are married? Yes, 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 I'm married. <laughs> you are very funny. Funny. Okay, where is your wedding ring? Wedding ring? Yeah. Like symbol, your marriage, that bring it in a union. Ah, ah. So you've been observing my hands. But ring is never a spiritual symbol that brings unity and love in marriage. But Jesus Christ is the ultimate, is the symbol in marriage that brings love and unity. So you mean you are married? Yes, of course I'm married. I'm married. Please, can you just give me what I gave to you now? You see? Give me what I just give to you now. I don't get it. I should give you this. You ah. need your man or this one. I'll bring something to you. Ah. Wonder shall never end. 
What has this world turned into? So is it the reason why this area is bringing things from it? Is it the reason why every time he's always in this sight, bringing something from it? Hey, whoa. Ha! Maybe so nowadays. So my sister, I want to ask you this question. Should I always be wearing wedding ring? Or because I want to keep it as a symbol in my marriage? No. But if you are married, you have someone that is married. To avoid breaking out your young guest hearts. Or even making them to fast and pray just because of you. What a malaka. Ah, you're fighting us. I believe you know you are. I was sorry, I was trying to know what you said about. So, but my guest is that. Aside wearing women, you see most people that are married now go to their faith in Christ, not married women. But just behave like someone that is married. The way some people behave these days makes me wonder if they actually married. Many are married, but it's only few behave like a married person. As a married person, the way you relate to an opposite sex when you are single is not the same as you relating to an opposite sex after marriage. I'm in total agreement with both of you. That should be boundaries. That should be limitation. In conversation, you don't shy too much. You don't come and begin to shy too much. Too much of a separate person. I believe that should be limitation. In every day after you are married. I'm in total agreement with both of you. So, respect yourself in your marriage. And yes. Uphold your dignity in marriage. Respect your family if you're married. Keep watching Dreamers TV show. We love you.